Hi there, it's me, sadly again, Nick Floyd. And I, I'm, I'm obviously not in my place right now. I wish my place was this big. Festive vibes. Anyways, I've been traveling for work right before the holidays, and then now I'm finally back, relaxing. I have some notes written down that I was like, I need to share. I'm feeling, I'm just feeling it, okay? I don't know. We're starting off really deranged, and I don't know if you've even heard of this, but if you have, get ready. Dog chiropractic videos on the internet. When they get angry slash surprised, I'm disgusted, but I know they're doing something good for them, question mark? Let me explain. All animals have bones and joints. I'm not, not on jellyfish, but sometimes they get, you know, stiff like we all do and people be cracking them dogs or cats or fucking pigs. I don't know. They're just cracking animals. But watching these humans like, or like crack the little dog's back and they get like, like really shocked. Something about that just really disgusts me. I don't know why, it's like something guttural. I don't like animals, I don't like people. I mean, I like animals. I don't like baby eye, gooey, baby juice. I hate that when people talk to animals like that. It's just one of my pet peeves. I'm sorry, you can do it. I'm just saying I don't like it. I used to date someone who had a fucking cat and they used to talk to them like that. And they kind of gave me the ick. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm not trying to lie, I'm just trying to be truthful. I'm making these baby noises at your cat and you're just gonna come to me and be like, so it made me sad anyways different sad off course story i'll insert some pictures or videos here <laughs> yeah. i don't like that i should just hit not interested because i'm sure for some people it's like really satisfying like when people crack humans i don't mind human crack videos i just don't like humans cracking things that aren't humans okay can I just say that? That's disgusting. That's just my opinion. And we should leave it there, because that's all it is. You know, one year on New Year's, I volunteered to be at the Rose Bowl parade for like the Pasadena Rose Bowl. And you fully are New Year's Eve, because it's on New Year's Day. I used to get there at 11.30, New Year's night. I went alone, because it's like a paid gig before I was like being paid from other things. Everyone was with their friends and family, and I was some loner bitch doing it alone. And it hit midnight as I was waiting in line for my work jacket. And we spent all the freezing ass cold night being security and setting up shit. And you know, girl, I did get a front row seat to the Rose Bowl parade. Did block a bunch of children because I had to stand in front of them in the street. But oh, okay, this fits being here. I come from a long line of gossipers. I'm not a gossiper per se. I come from there. My mom. Number one gossiper, spills all the tea on everyone, even on me. I tell her a secret. Why does her friend tell me when her drunk the thing I told her? You know, my grandma and grandpa are like, well, you know, Sherry's husband is getting a divorce. Why are you telling me these weird details of people's lives? Why you always got to talk about someone else and their issues? Is it because you can't face your own issues? Or is it because you live with the drama or you find entertainment out of other people's misery? things to think about just saying just saying do you see sherry's son got fat it's like that's my family and i can't be around that i'm like do you know what ammonia is for and i tell them in detail why all my friends take ammonia and sometimes i just got back from the gym that's also why i look like this people at the gym everyone's visiting there's new fish in the pool i don't like that i mean i'm all up for fitness i'm all up for people getting healthy and moving their bodies but like not in my gym <laughs> but it's like when everyone's in town for the holidays and they're all forced to just go to the gyms that are like of proximity to them i mean it's kind of fun to watch you're like do you live here you're definitely a visitor you're definitely from hollywood i'm sure they look at me and they're like you're a visitor you're a fucking tourist bitch i grew up here i did and some of you didn't and it shows the last thing i wrote on here is kind of deep and kind of a switch up change and this isn't my current job this is my past work history doing other things on the internet okay before the things i'm doing now just to not don't break any contracts okay my job has filled me with a lack of shame and a constant decline of romantic interest in the real world and what i mean by that is like i have no shame i mean i do a lot of things and have done a lot of things that are a little bit crazy for money. I think everyone should be open with their bodies. That's a different conversation, but the amount of humility and awkwardness 
in strangers I've had to just trust off the bat and reveal myself to for work opportunities, the tiredness at the beginning. Now it's way better, okay? I get a rest day. <laughs> but it just really kind of kills your spirit, you know, on theme. <laughs> and when I say a decline of romantic interest, you know, you meet so many people and a lot of these people have boyfriends and husbands. And usually they're their cameramen. <laughs> and it makes me depressed because I'm alone and I'm, it's nothing on them. I'm just like, damn. And everyone is married. Everyone has a boyfriend. Everyone's wife the fuck up, apparently, except me. It's weird how many performers are wifed the fuck up and do what they do. And like they have found someone that can just be okay with that dynamic. And that's great. I love that. I've never found that. Girl, what the fuck? Where's that for me? Where's my love story? I'm at like pay less and I need to go to Vaughn's probably to get a better boyfriend, you know. I go through so many people and I go I see so many people in love that it makes me really um, uninterested in love, tired of interacting with people. You know when you like work a customer service job and the end of your shift, you're like, fuck humanity. I don't want to see anyone, not even my roommates, not even myself in the mirror. Let me just sit in a void of my phone and eat snacks at home. That's kind of what love and intimacy is for me right now, where I do it so much for a living that off camera, I'm like, you know, I want to dance. I want to dress up fancy and get down, but like dance, get down, not da 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 da. And sometimes I do, but people think that's like, if you do it for a job, you want to do it 24 seven. Thick, no. I went to art school. I don't want to make crafts on my free time. But I'll do it for my niece who wants to fucking draw with me. And you went to Cheetahs? She's like that kids go through like an asshole phase where I think they know what pisses people off and they know what is right and wrong and they like to do the opposite because it entertains them. And whatever, human development, I'm not educated in that. But when we draw, and I'm obviously better because I'm just, I have more drawings. I went to art school. She will be like, you're cheating. There's no winners or losers. We're just drawing. And she'll scribble on mine and be like, I'm the winner. Pardon me, like, is that a sociopath? Or are you just a sore loser? I hope you guys have a good holiday. You know, the day my dad died, I went to the gym and I'm like, I usually go for an hour or an hour 20. And I was like, I just want to come home. I just want to come home early. I'm tired of going to the gym. And I came home early and literally every single one of my mom's friends and knew were at this house and they're like it's a matter of minutes before he's gonna pass and it was and if i didn't come home early from the gym that day i would have missed that but just crazy things around the holidays are always depressing so i hope you guys are um feeling good if you feel like watching this is good because it's it makes me happy filming them and if, if it doesn't make you happy then but what can I do? I'll see you guys later. Bye. Don't take that out on me. I am just a mere soul drifting through a Stater Brothers.